So I hear out in the wild the elusive Mickey Thompson E.T. Street tires are very hard to find. <gasps> I think I spotted it. Look at it sitting there. I'm going to sneak up and see if I can capture them. Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting tires. Today we are in our kitchen. We have the whole gang here. Right, guys? Yeah? yeah, we're all excited. Sharon's here, and we have an entire table full of well, goodies. Goodies! So, we're gonna take you through everything we got here um, and uh, see what Sharon's ordered and what's come in. I don't need Pepsi, so go ahead, uh, start going through it. All right, well, just, just so you're aware, I pre cut everything to cut down on some time here. Um, I know he loves the struggle bus that I that I like to ride in when I open these packages, but uh, I, I decided to do you guys a favor. So um, we didn't want a 35 minute long video of Sharon struggle busing to open up some tape. So love you too. Um, first is a package from Boosted Decals. Really cool guy who does this, makes decals, anything you want. I asked him for some Instagram um, decals for my car. Um, I asked for purple. But he actually just got in this matte metallic purple. So I don't know which one we'll be doing first, but those will be going on the car. And so those will be fancy, fancy. So if you already follow the Instagram, you should have seen, I think Sharon posted a picture of these guys already. I think I did. Yeah. So that's pretty cool stuff there. Um, what else we got next? What's next? So next is a package from a really awesome chick who is super fast in the CTSV world. Her name is Felicia. Four-door rocket is her car. The big, uh, well not big, with the sedan, orange one. Um, I decided to support her and get a tank top, which will be perfect to wear under my uh, fire suit, which we'll get to in just a second here. So that is, right here you can see that's actually... The CTSV, that's Rocket, and that's just another Mustang that lost to her, obviously. Um, so, congratulations to Felicia and Rocket for finally cracking into the eight seconds. That's an yes. eight second CTSV, full interior, full weight. That yep. car is, uh, that really is a Rocket. So, um, go ahead, hold that again. Go ahead and follow her on Instagram if you want to. There it is, four door at RC four. Uh, KT or four door Rocket. Yep, four door Rocket. But, Felicia's pretty got a pretty nasty setup in that car. And she's super so, nice, and her husband too. So what's next? Um, so next we will do all the fire suits. Um, so we're getting into the area where I'm going to need some more safety. So instead of just getting a jacket and all that, we decided to get me a full-fledged fire suit. So you'll see me wearing this next <laughs> season. It's very fashionable. It has pockets. It's very it's got purple, so I'll take it. Uh, she has tried it on. It does fit. Uh, so it's very unusual you're going to find a uh, purple race suit for somebody that's six foot tall. But yeah. made it work. Made it work. We, we found a, it's not a dude suit, I think is what you used to call it. Well, said, oh. first, so we got one, and it was a man's fire suit, and I looked like a man. So I didn't think a woman's one would fit, and luckily... The women's one worked out, so we're good. For those of you that have not seen Sharon in person yet, stand next to the refrigerator. Uh, there's no trickery photography. Sharon is actually six feet tall, so which is a good thing because you know I'm six foot four. This is me in a doorway, so if she was really short, it wouldn't look right. What else we got? All right, let's do this one. This one's from or one of these this is one of many packages here from our friend Brent uh, with Weapon X. Yep. He uh, was very patient with me because I'm very impatient and was able to order some stuff. Let's see. Ooh, this is going to be a fun one. This is a Metco Motorsports 9-1. This is my new lower pulley. We are putting on this pulley because right now I'm running the stock pulley. It's big. Jeez, that's huge. It's like a steering wheel. <laughs> 
but um, this will overdrive the supercharger, um, so it'll spin faster, which means I will um, essentially get more air, more boost, make me go faster, correct? Okay. So the stock pulley ring, I think, is a 7.75 inch. Um, and we've already changed the upper because the upper starts with a three inch when it comes to the factory. And then, ooh, what's that? Fancy stickers. Oh, it's the Innovators West stickers. Very nice stickers. We're gonna have a lot of stickers you. for the we're gonna have a lot of stickers for the garage fridge. Um, but yeah, so it starts with with, uh, with the upper pulley a three inch to a 2.40. That's okay that it broke in the bag, right? Uh, yeah, that's okay. Cool. That's cool. Just some lube grease. Um, but uh, now we had the stock lower. Now we're taking the stock lower off and putting a bigger lower pulley on it, so that way uh, it drives the supercharges that much faster. And this, oh, this is nice and heavy. Uh -huh. This is. It's expensive. Oh my god. My Innovators West balancer hub that will go to the pulley goes here, right? It yeah. attaches here. Yeah, right here with these guys. Oh, this is heavy. Well, that's the harmonic balancer and the front crank pulley. So, yeah, so basically this pulley attaches to the front here and the supercharger belt rides there. And then that is where your accessory belt rides and that's your AC belt, which uh, is the stretch belt. That's the stretch belt we have there. Oh, okay. So it gets rid of that other pulley that's there for the AC belt? Because isn't it on a separate pulley right now? No, it's still all one pulley right now. Oh. I am mistaken. This is why I do not do the work. I just hand screwdrivers and stuff. No, I've, I've made you stick your hands in there someplace. But. Yeah, I guess. So that's the pulley and the, and the harmonic balancer. That's that's going to be the big one. So what else we got there? Uh, let's see. We got. Let's do this one. I tell you what, the dogs are extremely interested in this. Right, Maxie? Uh, this is... Maxie couldn't care. So what do you got? This is the AC belt stretch kit. Is this the tool? Yeah. I don't know how that works, but cool. Uh, we got a new belt because once we take the old one off, we cannot use them again. We got a new one again. Kind of boring, but this is necessary. And this is from uh, Rock Auto. There is pretty good for shipping quickly. And um, so these are the uh, green belts for the new pulley. I wasn't sure which one exactly we were gonna need, so to not hold up progress, I ordered a bunch of them, and whatever doesn't fit, we will return. So that's what these are. So. So those are the belts, yeah. So the tensioner uh, for the supercharger pulley has two hash marks. And when we get to the install, uh, you'll see that there's the, the hash marks there. And you have a third hash mark on the tensioner and the third hash mark's gonna line up somewhere in between those two. So that will tell us whether the pulley, the belt is too tight, too loose, whatnot. So whichever one works perfectly is which one we're gonna use. So this one. <laughs> oh, this is the. This is probably one of my favorites. We've been talking about this one for a while. This is the new Nick Williams 103 throttle body. There's no more boosted or non-boosted anymore, is my understanding. And it's a new design. Usually it had the big knobby thing here and it was the motor. issues and stuff. Yeah. But it's very, very large. Don't, 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 don't open that. No, I'm not yeah. opening, I'm just, it's very large. That yeah, is really big, that's huge. The size of that thing. So that's, that's a pretty good size opening right there. Part number there. Uh, it's upside eagle. down, but. Oops, sorry. Eagle. Yep. Nice engraved USA bald eagle. So he will be replacing the stock throttle body, which is kind of um, choking off the air supply, basically, right now. So it's not giving it all the boost. This will help give it all the boost. And then this will work in conjunction, which I think is what's in the next box. I'm not mistaken. Normally the uh, the stock throttle body is 87 millimeters. So, um, you know, you can only get, you know, 87 millimeters worth of air through. So that one's 103. So we're just getting a lot more air to suck through into the supercharger because the blower, uh, ported blower, um, it's going to, ooh, I know what that is, but. 
Um, so yeah, so that will be getting this new cold air intake by DBP. This is five inch, replacing my current four inch air raid cold air intake. Um, that was actually the first modification we did to the car was the intake. And I was all nervous pants about it and look where we are now. Yeah, right now we are everything bolt onto this car with the exception of going cam and heads. Very right? nice, very large. Is that three? Oh, it is 3D printed. That is a three. Oh, is that what that is? Is that why that pattern is? Yeah, so it's not really a pattern. It's just, whew, it's like a 3D printed intake. I just gave me goosebumps. It's like a 3D printed intake. That's actually really cool. And, and uh, that is a humongous filter. It's like almost as big as my head. Actually, it's bigger than your head. So, filter. Right. What else we got? I think this is the air box. Oh yeah, those are the pieces to, to create the air box. Yep, and then the divider for neck brace. Tony, the dogs are really excited. I'm not really funny. I just pretend to be. Huh? So I'm not really funny, I just pretend to be. You, you play a funny person on TV. That's what you do. Alright, so we have that. Oh, so that leaves this. That just leaves the big guy. The big guy. Which is something that we weren't planning on doing. We were, then we weren't. We were, and then we weren't. We were, and then we weren't. Right, we, we, weren't, we, we weren't planning on doing all of this stuff. And then after like two weeks after race week, and then um, we had a streetcar takeover, and then right after streetcar takeover, I think is when the decision got made. It's like, you know, let's just, let's end off strong. Let's pull the trigger. Let's do it. So... We went and we, because we had the skinnies that we already got, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And then... We got the skinnies, and then we're like, you know what? We're kind of stuck. Index racing isn't our thing. Really, the only thing to really do if we're going to keep doing it was to get more power. So maybe I can do different, um, different classes, you know, outside of test and tune. So we decided to do all this stuff, which was the next round we always talked about doing. Um... And just because of the cost, I'm cheap. So that and the tune and the trip to, to Vengeance in, in Georgia. I was like, well, hold off. You know, it's you know, it's winter, we're not gonna have too many events. We'll wait until the spring to do the trunk tank. And then I I don't know what happened, but it, it just I was like, you know what? Screw it. So I got my trunk tank finally. Another thing we got from uh Brent at Weapon X. So and David at um Boost Addicts. Yes. In Tennessee. So yes, huge thank you to those guys. Yeah, they actually huge, huge thank you. they managed to build that tank custom for us. I mean, well, not they custom, it but PNR. yeah, they yeah. they got an order. They got that thing. I mean, all these parts have gotten to us within two to three weeks, which right now with COVID and everything else, that's a pretty oh my god. That's a big hole to fill some some ice with. That's gonna hold quite a bit of ice there. Yes. No more food shopping in my car. No, no, we're gonna. But your your car is still a daily driver, just not gonna be daily driver to the grocery store. Well, food shopping, I'll still go to the grocery store. Right. Well. But yes. So. so that is the big old trunk tank, and what else we got in there? So this is the actual tank, and then oh, this must be. Oh. Is it heavy? Yes. It says EMP on the side of it, yeah, so. Yeah, the pump. We got the wires. And I'm gonna drop the Yeah, I'd rather drop the wires in the phone. Oh my god. EMP pump. This is heavy. And this is gonna be replacing the under the hood tank with the Verimax pump. So if anybody wants to buy them, they'll be for sale. <sighs> what else we got? So when we first started doing this stuff. Oh, um, we had uh, the Weapon X track attack heat exchanger was the first modification we did because we went to uh, Street Car, no, Street King, Street Warriors, so Street Warriors at uh, uh, Z Max, and the car heat soaked really bad. We could not get it to do anything because it was just heat soaking, heat soaking, heat soaking. So the first major modifications we did, other than the air raid intake, was to do the Weapon X track attack heat exchanger with the underhood ice box and the Veramax pump, which has worked great for now. I've been able to keep the IITs, you know, down to like 70s at the start of the run, up to like 115, 120 at the end of the run. Um, but as soon as we ported the blower, 
we noticed that the IAT2s were harder to keep under control. So now that we're going to be spinning the blower even faster with the 9.1 lower, um, it was going to be impossible to use that little tank under the hood because the tank on the hood is only 1.7 gallons. Uh, this is a seven and a half gallon tank. Seven and a half. Yeah. Yeah, it's a seven and a half gallon tank here. So that's realistically we're going to be able to get four gallons worth of ice in the whole system. You know, when you think it's going to have some, have some water, you don't want to create an air pocket, all that kind of stuff. So we're going to have twice as much ice to be able to get down the track, which is good because we're going to make at least three times the amount of heat. Positive displacement blowers, like what's on that car, just generate a ton of heat. And all we're going to try to do now is we, with everything we've got here, we're going to have to dissipate it more. So trunk tank it is. So we would also find the box. Anything special? Anything good? Yeah, so we have some hoses and connectors and some AM fittings. There's looks like a three-quarter hole swab something. Oh, uh, maybe we, you need to use a three. Oh, all those use the rubber grommets so when you cut the holes, it doesn't chop up. Oh, okay, uh, okay. Okay, and then, oh, is this for the drain? It gives you a little thing for the drain. A little. That's, that's exactly what that is. It's a little ball valve. Ball valve, yes. Cool. All right. So I should have like clips and clamps and goodies. Screws to bolt it down. This is for the fuse. Yeah, we also, I think we got, is that, we also oh, we got a, one, more uh, one more box with the. But that's from Dedicated, it should be the. Yes, yeah, so that's from Dedicated Motorsports. This is their um, EMP reprogram pump wiring harness because people have had a problem. Dedicated. dedicated. Uh, people have had a problem when they installed them that uh, they've used, you know, lower gauge wire and it's caused some problems. This so is a harness. Dedicated to me, this pretty heavy duty, I think this is like 10 gauge maybe eight gauge with a huge maxi fuse for it. Um, so to, just to make sure that, that you're not gonna melt anything, I could catch anything on fire. So it's plug and, basically makes it a plug and play harness and anything that makes life easier in that car, I'll take because that car hates me. So I'm is that, keep this. yeah, you can keep it in there. Is that everything? I think that's everything. That's a lot. That's a lot. That, 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 that's enough. Yeah, that's, that's quite a bit. That's enough. <laughs> all right, so that's all we've got for right now. Um, this is basically just an unboxing video of all the stuff that's going to be coming next. Uh, Sharon's best time, 10.611 on Rocky Mountain Race Week. Officially. Officially. Uh, unofficially, whatever the hell that time was going to be, a streetcar takeover that we just saw, um, where she let off and never should have, I guess, if you want to go that way, but it doesn't matter. Um, I'm thinking that with all this stuff, we're going to probably make another two to three pounds worth of boost. Uh, I'll be able to keep it a little bit colder. We're hoping to realistically be able to consistently run 10-1, 10-2 kind of times. Um, with, not letting off. With, you know, not letting off. Uh, with 10 O's being a possibility, I would love to see the car run a 9. Uh, and that's actually the ultimate goal is to get the car to run a 9. Um, I know it's doable. There's a couple people that have run nines on what they call stock sealed engine uh, CTSVs. Now, granted, most of those guys have 15 inch conversions, suspension, torque converters, all that kind of stuff. The engine's still stock, but the rest of the drivetrain isn't. Um, but we're gonna just, I just wanna try to see if we can get the car to run a nine. Um, but next video that's gonna be coming out in a few days or so is gonna be, we're gonna get all this stuff put together, start putting this stuff on, Oh, squeeze. Okay. Start uh, just getting it all prepped. Got to bring it down for tuning. The tuning appointment is uh, next Friday. Uh, the 13th. Yeah, the 13th. Two so, Fridays. Two Fridays now. So Friday the 13th is a tuning appointment. And then on the 14th is MXA test and tune. So between now and Thursday night, I've got to get all of this stuff on and done. So that's a, that's a whole lot. It's going to be fun. I'm actually kind of excited about. Let's see. Uh, to the right a little bit. Yeah, that looks good.
Gonna look so pretty. <laughs> Absolutely how you have to do that. Like metallic y purple. I don't know if it's really picking it up. Well, you just have to come see it in person. But it's metallic y, it's purple. I love it. Thank you, Booster Decals. <laughs>